Hey guys, welcome back to Silver City Barbecue. I'm Pit Master James Cruz, and in this week's video, I'm going to show you one of the absolute barbecue basics. I'm going to show you how to smoke a Boston butt for pulled pork. It is one of the legendary barbecue staples. It's something that anybody can do on any type of smoker out there. And if you want to, you can even do it in the oven. But for the most part, it is so easy, so delicious, and extremely versatile. You can create all kinds of things with some pulled pork. Let's get started. All right, so what we've got here is a Boston butt. Okay. Why is it called a Boston butt? It doesn't come from the butt of the pig, that's where the hand is. What the Boston butt is, it's actually the front shoulder of the pig, and it's got its name from back in revolutionary times, when we're importing pork from Europe, it's coming in barrels, okay? There's no refrigeration at the time, so they packed it with salt. Well, they were coming into the Boston Harbor, these barrels were called butts. Therefore, Boston butt. Right there in your barbecue notes, kids. So what we've got here is this Boston butt. It's about a five or six pound butt, okay? What we've got here is the shank bone, which actually goes down the arm of the pig. You got your blade, which goes to the shoulder. Opposite of the, uh, opposite of the shank is the money muscle, calais, or coco, okay? So by looking at this thing, this actually came from the right side of the pig. You've you got your blade that comes down, you got your shoulder blade that goes in, or your blade goes down here, your, your uh, shank goes down and this right here actually goes across the back of the neck of the pig, okay so in a sense it sat kind of like this all right this right here in competition terms is where you get the, that, that's the money muscle all right that is one of the best bites on the entire pig <clears throat> it's highly marbled you can see those striations right there it's super tender very very moist all right so we're not going to do a whole lot of prep to this thing like i said i'm keeping this this recipe extremely simple I'll go with the binder at first. So the first thing I'm doing with, I'm going with is some yellow mustard. We'll put a little bit across the back. Just smear it off, smear it really, really nice. Make sure it's even, all sides are covered. So while we've got this side of the, uh, the butt up, we're gonna hit it with a little rub. The rub I'm using here is the Citrus City Barbecue Sweet Heat. It's a very balanced uh, rub. It's, you can pretty much use it on anything. It's got a little sweetness, it's got a little heat, that's the name, sweet heat. And we're gonna go with a little more yellow mustard over the top. Doesn't take much, let's get out of the way. I've got my rubbing hand, I've got my shaking hand. So let's do this. Let's get the sides first. Okay. Let's get this side down. We'll go over the top. Nice even coat. Doesn't have to be perfect. Again, we're pulling this for pulled pork sandwiches. Uh, it doesn't have to be competition uh, trim. And if it's competition trim, I'd fillet this uh, Boston, this money muscle out a little bit. I, I'd showcase the tooth, the horn, things like that. This is really for eating. This is going to make a great sandwich later. Let's get this thing on the smoker. The smoker I'm cooking on today is the Gateway 55 gallon. Look how shiny and pretty that thing is back there. That is a cooking machine. Let's get it on smoker. We've got the gateway fired up with some hickory lump. I add a couple chunks of hickory, a few chunks of cherry. I'm gonna place the butt dead center of the drum, fat side down, because the heat source is coming from the bottom. I've got this guy dialed in at 275 degrees as if it doesn't even want to leave there. Let's let this guy smoke for a couple hours and we'll be right back. We're about two hours and 15 minutes in. Let's see about where we are. Internal temp wise. Uh, 126. Let's spray it. Can I keep that color down. And a little more rub. All right, I'm gonna let this go for about another hour and a half. We're at three hours and 45 minutes. It's probably about time to take this thing off and wrap it. We're right over 170, 173. I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna wrap this thing up. Be right back. All right, guys, I'm gonna show you all a very basic wrap technique. It, it's very similar to the way I wrap a lot of stuff, but in the meantime, check out the color that that gateway and those BNB wood chunks put on that Boston butt. That thing is beautiful. Great color, the bark is set really nice. I'm gonna show you how we wrap it up. Super easy. Put it right in the center, add a little more rub. Okay. And I've showed you guys this plenty of times before. I like to go left side, right side, pressing down the entire time, right? 
front, press down, back. And that's pretty much how I wrap a lot of my stuff. I want a nice tight envelope with that foil, lock all that moisture in, speeds up the cooking process. We're gonna get it back on the gateway. It's only gonna be a couple more hours and we're gonna make a pulled pork sandwich. Be right back. Now that we've got it wrapped, let's get it back on the smoker in the center. And I'm gonna stick my Thermorx dot in about the center of where the thickest part of the meat is. I'm gonna set it along for 200. At that point, we're gonna take it off and make a sandwich. When the alarm's going off on the dot, it means we hit 200 degrees. It's time to take this butt off the smoker. All right, now that the pork is done, it's smoked for about three hours, 45 minutes, wrapped for about another hour, 45. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna open it up a little bit, and basically just let it bend. I wanna prevent it from cooking any further. Let show you that in a minute. Let's let it go for about 15 minutes, but in the meantime, I'm gonna show you a very easy, very delicious creamy coleslaw that we're gonna put on top of that pork sandwich. So, First thing I want to do is I want to add my liquids. I've got three quarters of a cup of heavy cream. Okay. I've got two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. Okay. Two tablespoons of lemon juice. Then I'm adding my dry seasons. I've got a tablespoon of black pepper, I've got a half a tablespoon of kosher salt, one teaspoon of mustard powder. Add those in. A half a cup of sugar. Last thing that goes in is mayo, but I want to mix all this stuff together. Get all the sugars and salt dissolved, which has no clumps. I'll take a second. Okay. Next, I want to add three quarters of a cup of mayo. Put this in there. Stir this up uh, really good. All right, when I came up with this dressing recipe, it was years ago, and I based it off of the store-bought uh, coleslaw mix. They weigh 14 ounces, so that's what I'm going with today. 14 ounce bag of the store-bought coleslaw mix. Just the perfect amount of dressing for that. Dump that in there, and just toss it. All right, we're gonna let that pork rest for a little bit. We'll be right back in just a few minutes. All right, now that the pork is done, let's get to pulling it. But before we do, I'm gonna show you my favorite thing to use to pull pork. I don't use any kind of metal claws, CBG, or any of those bare things, all that nonsense, or even a drill with like a thing that spins around and just kind of throws it everywhere. Go to your nearest hardware store, get you some work gloves, get you something that, that, that fit tight, fit comfortable. Put them on, you can grab hot food, you can grab a grate, some gloves over the top of it and see with this I can get in there and I can pull out the little things that I want it's not those big cumbersome uh, barbecue gloves that your favorite aunt gives you every year for Christmas look get you some of these you won't go wrong uh, I use these for everything as far as pulling pork and wrapping ribs and everything else boom so let's pull this up look at that We'll let this ju these juices sit down in here, like this. First thing we we'll do is pull that bone out. Look, you got part of that horn in there. Throw that away. All right. One of the things I want to do is I like to pull things apart in chunks. Okay. Just like this, pull it apart in chunks. You don't have to worry about it shredding and all that stuff. Okay. So I'm kind of separating everything. This one had a little tiny money muscle on it. I'm gonna save that for that sandwich. All right, it just makes it very easy to kind of pull apart the fat and the uh, meat. See this, you still actually have some texture to it. You know, it's not overcooked, it's not mushy. Look at this. That's, that's awesome. So anyway, what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna pull this up, pull it all apart, then we're gonna build that sandwich. All right, all the pork has been pulled. That gateway over there, that thing really just locks in moisture. I mean, check out that, the color of this thing. You got the, the darker meat of the butt, the lighter meat of the butt. I got them all mixed together. It gives it different contrast and textures. The flavor that's gonna come off the thing with that B&B oak and that cherry and that hickory. Yeah, let me tell you something. That's gonna be a great sandwich and I can't wait to eat it, so let's, let's build it. First thing I wanna do is, I knew where that money muscle was. I wanna put some of that on there, okay? I'm gonna get some of that, a little bit of that, that white meat, which comes from the inner part of the butt. Let's go to some of this horn muscle over here. Okay. Next thing you want to do after that is I want to hit it with a little more rub. I like to go a little bit more over the top. 
Okay. A friend of mine, I'm gonna tell you about in a second, he used to call it adding a little love to it. After that, I'm gonna go with some Tennessee Red uh, by Blues Hog, mainly because I, I like a vinegar based sauce on a pork sandwich. Check that out right there. We're gonna go a nice drizzle over the top of this stuff. It's got a great tanginess, got a little bite to it, kind of sweet. Okay. The coleslaw that we made, I'm not gonna go a lot, just a little bit over the top. Just enough to kind of change the pace a little bit. Well, good barbecue buddy of mine, actually good just friend of mine in general, Chad Edwards, old catfish from the Delta. This guy's a great barbecue cook. Well, he used to own a place called Rookie's Barbecue. And that place there was a, a really good barbecue spot. And uh, he, had a, he had a sandwich there. And I thought it was one of the better pulled pork sandwiches everywhere. Part of the Rookie Special. So Chad, what I got for you, buddy? Basically, it's pulled pork. Coleslaw, sauce, fried onion rings over the top. We'll top it with that bun. By the way, I toasted these buns on the gateway. Y'all can look at that thing right there. How deliciously edible did that thing look? And guess what? This is my favorite part of the entire weekly movie. I'm about to eat this bad boy. Jeez. Who's that dude who tells me I need a hunch to grab this thing? Like they say down in the shell met, bro. Wow. I tell you one thing, that sandwich is unfreaking believable. And look, it, it's so easy to make. I mean, you grab yourself a Boston butt. It could be four pound butt, it could be an eight pound butt. It doesn't matter, it's just gonna take a little longer to cook. Simple rub on that thing, throw it on a smoker. I use that gateway, which really simplifies things. I, I went about three hours, 45 minutes open, a little smoke, got that, that cherry and the hickory smoke on it. Wrapped it for about another hour, 45, so it got to 200 degrees internal temperature. That thing just pulled apart like it was like it was confetti. I topped it with a little more of Central City Sweet Heat, some Blues Hog Tennessee Red, and some Rookie Special Onion Rings. Oh, toasted the bun on the, on the gateway. Dude, that's too easy. That's, that is, that's, that's a rookie uh, recipe right there. But look. Thank you guys for following us. I, I really have fun every week we do these things. And um, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to the channel. The channel. Tell all your friends about it. Share the videos. Like them if you like them. Ask me some questions. Comment below. Hopefully you guys had a great Thanksgiving. I'll see you guys next week.